It is business unusual at Manchester United. Ineos is cooking. Guess what? They have announced a multi-million pounds investment into the first team of Manchester United. I'll tell you about it as we do get deeper and deeper into this summer transfer window. Like, share and subscribe as I give you this quick update concerning our beloved club. In Sajim we trust. In Sajim we believe. In Ineos we trust. Y'all who are saying in yourself, in yourself, listen, in yours have announced a 50 million pounds investment into refurbishing Carrington. The first team training area or the men's team is going to be refurbished. What you're seeing right there on your screen, on my, uh, is it right? Right hand side. What you're looking at right there is not an impression of my beach house. No. That is going to be part of the lounge overlooking Carrington Trading Grounds that Ineos are going to work on for the rest of the entire, starting next week, th throughout the spell of the 2024-25 season. We are going to be rebuilding this stadium into a multi-million pounds mega facility worthy of the big club that we are. Guys, listen, the jokes, the banter, they've started, they're doing everything in situ. They, brought, they, they, they have a, a board uh, working on, on the redevelopment of Old Trafford. They, are, uh, uh, you know, they have sorted the, 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 the structure around the manager. They have sorted the manager. They are recruiting players. They are changing the Carrington and you know, they are going to start with the gym. Let me read it for you anyway, in case you uh, don't, don't know what the details are. Here is the detail. Manchester United will commence work to modernize the men's first team building, Carrington Training Complex, next week with a focus on creating a high-performance collaborative environment for players and staff. They go on to say the £50 million pounds project, that is, £50 million pounds is as much as three players, Maguire, Scott McTominay, and Aaron Wan Bissaka combined. That's how big this project is going to be. The £50 million pounds project will result in all areas of this building being refurbished to deliver a world-class football facility with a positive culture to support future success. Ineos are peeping into the future that we all wish to, to be alive, to enjoy, honestly. The architectural practice uh, fosters led by Manchester United, Bond Lord, Norman, uh, uh, appointed by uh, projects, uh, the practice responsible for the shaping of, the same guys who are responsible for the shaping of Wembley Stadium and the designing of the Lucille Stadium in Qatar. That was the uh, centerpiece of the FIFA World Cup in 2022. If you do recall those stadia in Qatar, well, these are the guys who designed it. Look at the beauty. And then the artistic impression of what they're going to do. Amazing stuff right there. And guys, you might think, why is Web telling us about this? Why is it a big deal when we are in a transfer window? We should be announcing signing of players. Look, guys, listen. The reason why this is so important is because it is these things that Ineos is doing that are going to attract the likes of Michael Olise, the likes of Jared Brantwaite, who is excited to join us, according to what we get following the personal terms we, we agreed with him. He's excited to join. Why? Because of the things that Ineos is working on behind the scenes. Now, these things are coming out to attract players. Which player wouldn't want to be part of this new Manchester United, this new look Manchester United, most prestigious club in the world, having a matching facility in Carrington, the training facility. They are going to work on the gym. Uh, this is what they say. Uh, here's the, 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 the more interesting detail you might want to hear. They are going to uh, start with, uh, uh, with uh, the, 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 the gym, the medical, I uh, work on the, the medical nutrition and recovery areas with a design emphasis on creating more space for collaborative and innovation among players and staff. <laughs> marginal gains you recall go back to that video what are marginal gains this is the marginal gains approach that Ineos and co are known for this is the new manchester united and all these players my colleagues i remember i told you many players want to play for manchester united michael lisa is a fan of manchester united on his ex he follows only two teams crystal palace his club currently and man united the club he supported Yet he played for Chelsea, I think he was at Man City for some time, but he only follows Crystal Palace and Man United on his ex. Do you know why? Because he loves us. But these players were not sure of what's going on at the club. That is why Ineos coming out to publicize these, uh, these changes is important because it's going to attract players. And what a perfect timing on the first day of the summer transfer window. It's no coincidence. It is not by mistake that they announced it today. This is to tell players like Lenny Oro, you say you want Real Madrid over United? Well, look what we are doing at Man United. Don't you want to be a part of that? You say you want, uh, Michael, you say you want to listen to Chelsea. 
Really? You want to listen to Chelsea when Man United is talking? Well, look what we are doing. Don't you want to be a part of this? Well, all the other players that will be your own neighbors, Arsenal and Man City want you. Arsenal, you really want to go to Arsenal when we Man United are doing this? Oh, you want to go to Manchester City? You want to miss this? A club without fans? You want to miss being part of the rebirth of this club with so many fans? This, my man, Ineos are so... I don't know. I feel like these Ineos guys are just going to keep shocking us day after day, day after day. I feel like we are not ready for what's coming. I feel like they are cooking so many things and they just have no way to, 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 to announce them. I, I, ah, goodness, what, what should I say? So that is where we are. Uh, and I will tell you without a shadow of a doubt, with this announcement, it is going to be easier for Manchester United to sign players, to attract players, to go to players and present to them the project. Now, this is exciting because put yourself in the shoes of any footballer. Man United, big as it is, it had fallen after Salis Ferguson, but remains the big name, most supported club in the world, biggest prestige to play for Manchester United. You're a star, you're in the faces of everyone, everyone knows you. And after so many years of a road, they get a new owner, richest guy in the UK, and he's doing this, making this, invest this investment. It just reminds me of Chelsea when Roman Abramovich took over Chelsea. The first players who are part of that tribute, uh, they're always going to be special in the history of Chelsea. It's like a new Chelsea. It's like Chelsea had not existed before Roman Abramovich. I'll tell you, Man United is going to feel like it, had, it did not exist before this current generation of players. Because what Ineos are doing is they are going to give this club a new modern identity that any player is going to want to be a part of it. And this new modern identity is not only going to excite the old timers, the old supporters like we, it is going to recruit the young generation of this Generation Z to love Manchester United. That is the project Ineos is selling to these players. And trust you me, if we want a player at this point, I will tell you, even if we don't have the cash, it's just the project we are working on. Promise that these players, you know what, we won't pay you much, but you'll be part of this. Because of financial fair play, we can't deal with you. You want to be a part of this history. You want to be a part of this famous class. This Because these kids of the Kobe Mainos, the Ganachos, the Hoylands are going to go down in history. I'll tell you, if we win a Premier League title, which is going to happen, from how things are happening, it will happen indeed in the three years in your scavers. If we do win a title, I will tell you family, without fear of missing my words, that these boys are going to be legends. I think at the new Old Trafford, we shall see the, fa the face of, of Kobe, the image of Kobe Maino, or, or, or a, 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 statue, a statue of Kobe Maino outside the new, the new Old Trafford. I'll tell you, these parts, stands are going to be renamed after some of these kids. Listen and mark my words. Trust me, this is the new Man United that Ineos is working on. What a day. First day of the summer transfer window never gets better for Man United. We are powered by Uplift Causes. Go there, check out the, the website www.upliftcourses.org and boy, let's go there and just support what uh, you know, uh, they do there at Uplift in, in helping young people take charge of their mental health. For me, my mental health has been done a great good because of the update concerning this facility i'll see you later with more transfer talk subscribe like and share i told you this summer is going to be a marathon update after update after update <laughs>